Hello, and welcome to the Energy Star Portfolio Manager demonstration series. Portfolio Manager is an EPA tool that tracks the energy use, water use, and greenhouse gas emissions of any type of building. A data request can be created by any Portfolio Manager user and is commonly used by state and local governments with energy disclosure laws. When you create a data request, Portfolio Manager generates a unique URL that you can share with stakeholders to request data. To get started, you'll need to create a custom template report that you can then use to request data. Log into Portfolio Manager and go to the Reporting tab to create a new template named The Template. Next, under Time Frame, define the time period for which respondents will be asked to provide data. If feasible, you should specify the time frame for your respondents because this will ensure that all responses are associated with the same time frame. You will be able to choose between energy, water, or waste. Below this, you'll be asked to select properties to include in the report. Since you're setting up this template to request data from others, it doesn't matter what you select. However, you'll want to select at least a few properties to help in reviewing your template. Finally, Choose the metrics you want to request from others. You can edit your choices after you generate your report, but you can't edit your templates after you send it out to others. It's important to understand that a data request asks for specific pieces of data from respondents. This means respondents release only the information specified in the data requested for a specified time period. They are not providing you with access to view their full property record. Now, click Save Template and navigate back to the Reporting tab. From here, click My Reports and Templates to view your new template. Now that the report template exists, you can download responses in an Excel as a check to see what the report looks like. You can now also request data using this template. From the Action menu, select Request Data using this template. Start by naming the data request you are creating and be sure to choose a name that will be meaningful to respondents. Next, you'll need to verify the data you're requesting. Under Time Frame, confirm the time period for which respondents will be asked to provide data. If possible, specify the time frame for your respondents because this will ensure that all responses are associated with the same time frame. Below this, you can choose to specify the location of buildings for your request. This is particularly useful if you're interested in collecting data for properties located in a single state. You can also choose to collect the language preference from the respondents. Then, you'll see a list of metrics selected when you created this template. If you want to change these metrics, you will need to go back to the Reporting tab and edit the report template or create a new template before continuing. Next, identify a main point of contact for people who have questions about your data request. Select this contact from the drop-down list. If they're not already in your contact list, you can add a contact. The name location, email address, and phone number of the contact will be displayed for your review. Once the data request link has been created, this information will be available to all respondents. We recommend you list someone who can respond directly to all inquiries. Finally, you can provide detailed instructions or information about your request for your respondents. The text you provide here will be visible to respondents when they respond to their request. Consider including a due date in the instructions or a reminder regarding the kinds of buildings that are required to report. To review how this text will appear to a respondent, click Preview Instructions. If you're not ready to publish your request, click Save Request and return to it later via the Reporting tab. When you're finished setting up your request, click Create Link to request data and then click Continue in the Confirmation dialog box. Please note that you cannot change the template name, time frame, building location, or selected metrics once the request is published. You can, however, edit the contact information and instructions at any time from the Reporting tab. On this page, you'll see a unique URL that has been assigned to the data request and sample text to help you publicize and promote the request, in addition to any specific instructions you provided. This page will also include step-by-step -step instructions to help respondents access and respond to the request. It will be up to you to determine the best pathways to promote the request. However you publicize it, remember to include the URL because this is how people will access the data request. At this point, 
If you need to edit the contact information or instructions, click Edit Instructions. Otherwise, click Cancel to return to the reporting main page. To monitor this data request, locate the report template you use to set up your data request on the Reporting tab. Click the gray arrow next to the name of your template to expand this item and see the associated data request. Then, you can download all the data submitted by respondents in Excel or XML format. If there is a deadline for respondents to submit data, you can stop accepting data by selecting Close Data Request. Once the data request is closed, no additional responses can be collected. However, you'll still be able to access the report, which will contain all of the responses received while the data request was open. This concludes our demonstration of how to request data from Portfolio Manager users. For information about Portfolio Manager, including how-to guides, live and recorded webinars, and frequently asked questions, please visit the websites listed here. Thank you.